Hi everyone, <clears throat> Stepan here. Uh, I'm gonna go d4. Oh, my opponent is quite lower rated. He's 2100. Okay, let's go d4, c4. Uh, yesterday's game wasn't that great. Uh, sorry, I have Kira in my lap. She wouldn't leave me alone. Uh, so yeah, yesterday's game wasn't that great. I risked a lot with a very dangerous setup and I could have gotten mated I mean the position was never really losing for me it was like plus one and a half for white but it was still very very risky and I mean a strong player would have beaten me there because it was very hard to play for black and Going into risky positions like that is maybe not a good practical decision. I'm gonna go queen c2 first here. Usually I play e3 allowing bishop f5, but this game I'm not going to allow it. I don't know why, it's just two different ideas for black, for white, sorry. So the queen's gambit declined exchange variation is basically the Karo Khan in reverse, which is why I enjoy playing it. So I, I don't know a6. Usually white is the one playing a3, b4 for a minority attack. I don't know what my opponent is trying to achieve. So I'll just play normal moves. He could have tried g6 instead. That's interesting. But then I can always exchange on f6. And now he is forced to go h6 or g6. Uh, I don't think there are any other options. A6 is a strange move. I don't know A6. I'm guessing the idea is to support C5, B5, C4. But then again, that seems to be wasting a lot of time. My dog isn't that small, by the way. She's really scared today because uh, it's windy outside. And also, it's about a month ago until the holidays. And people here start buying fireworks and stuff that makes noise. Very early. And she's terrified of those sounds. Th this is very peculiar. So if I take on f6, he takes with the bishop. I take on h7. He goes king h8, I retreat my bishop. He goes b4. What did he get? Why did he give up a pawn? So bishop f6, bishop f6. Bishop h7, king h8, bishop d3. b4, I'm taking the pawn. And also, by getting rid of the bishop on this diagonal, I can go b4 later. Uh, if he doesn't play b4. So how do I do this? Let's just go bishop d3. Now, in an ideal world, I'd go queen e2, queen h5, checkmate. Which I may well do here. He's threatening to take on d4. Uh, but do I want to block my queen? If I go queen e2, he can defend with g6. And that's about the only defense. If he plays bishop d4, then I go queen h5, king g8, uh, queen h7, king f8, uh, queen h8, king e7. And then I cannot take the bishop because my queen is attacked. So I don't think I should, I should allow this capture. Uh, Then again, do I go knight f3 or knight e2?
I like knight e2 because of bishop g4. I could consider queen d1 and then on bishop d4. Oh no, it's the same thing. I don't have queen takes d4. I was thinking queen h5, king g8, bishop h7, king f8, and then queen d4, but my queen is still on, on h5. Okay, so I'm just going to defend the pawn. I don't see an immediate checkmate. And I will go knight f3. Maybe knight e2 is better. <sighs> knight f3 or knight e2. Knight f3, so that on b4 I can retreat the other knight to e2. If he plays bishop g4, I'm just castling queenside to get out of the pen. Maybe queen e2 was interesting, but I'm not sure. We will check it. Okay, wants to go knight b4. I don't think I should allow knight b4. Uh, so I'm gonna go queen e2. Ah, oh, but queen e2 loses to knight takes d4. Hmm. Knight f3 was actually a mistake. I had to go knight e2. I don't have knight b5 because of knight b4 and then on queen c7 uh, he can take on d3 oh but maybe I do have queen e2 Queen e2, if bishop d4, then knight d4, and on knight d4, I go queen h5. That's not enough, again. I'm gonna have to castle and allow knight b4. I don't see any other option. He can take the bishop, I mean, I, I don't have a choice. I'd rather give up the light squared bishop than the pawn. Queen e2 or queen d1? I like queen d1 to make sure I'm not in any pins. He's gonna take anyway. Okay. <clears throat> Bishop e6 is very passive. Uh, I like going b4 to blockade and to make sure he doesn't open up the center for his bishops. I also create a backward c pawn, making sure he can never play c5. So I'm gonna go b4. I think he should have gone bishop g4 there. Now I just want to pile on the c7 pawn. a3 seems normal.
the good thing is that he cannot go a5 before he plays c6. And I have to think about playing e4. If he goes bishop g4, I think I'm playing e4. Okay, he wants to go bishop f5. Uh, okay, so e4. If he takes, I take with the knight. He has to go queen e7 or queen f4. Uh, Oh, he may wish to go king g7. In which case e4 must be the correct idea. So e4, d4, knight e4. If bishop f5, I can just take. Uh, if queen f4, I take on f6. Yeah. Okay, so e4 takes knight takes what if he doesn't take i'm going e4 e4 seems correct he also has bishop c4 which i have to watch out for uh, but i think i'm fine there Okay, so if I go knight of six and he goes bishop c4, <clears throat> then I can go queen d2. Okay, I'm gonna take. Now I have to deal with bishop c4. Uh, I like rook e1. Just challenging the e file. <clears throat> and then on bishop c4, maybe queen d2. I could also consider going knight e5. But he has rook d8 in that case, and I don't have queen h3 check. So I'm just gonna go rook e1 uh, to get out of the pin. Or the, the skewer, sorry. I like knight e5. He does not have queen g5 because of. Uh, well, maybe he does. But I can always go queen h3 check. Knight e5 seems to be a good move. Uh, 
because I'm preparing rook e3. Okay. If queen g5, then queen h3, check king g7, rook e3 seems okay. I'm also preventing bishop c4 now. Although I do have to be slightly uh, uh, slightly careful about rook e3 because I'm undefending my a1 rook. And my queen. So maybe rook ad1 first. Just to defend my rook and defend my queen. In that case, he never has bishop g2 followed by rook e5. So let's go rook ad1. Safe moves first. Now rook a3 feels safe. Okay. He wants to go rook h8. So rook e3, rook h8. Rook h3. Rook takes, queen takes. <clears throat> if he moves the bishop, he's on my... Well, he, he would be threatening. Queen takes e5. Okay, I'm gonna go rook e3 anyway. I have to get rid of these pins. Maybe I go rook d1 first to make sure my pieces aren't pinned. And then if queen h4 I can safely go rook h3. I'm going rook d1. I don't want to allow any pins if I don't have to.
maybe queen f4 is more interesting because because <laughs> then on on rook h3 he can take take and take on on d4 So on queen f4, I think I go rook g3. Kira, she's dead. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna have to concentrate. I'm gonna go rook g3. <clears throat> that way I have knight, h, uh, knight g4 and h3 if he goes rook dh8. Uh, and if he takes on g2, I can take with the rook. I don't have to open up my king side. If he moves the bishop, move the bishop but I can go knight f3 there and they also have some ideas of knight g6 I didn't see this at all. He wrote, thank you for watching. <clears throat> I don't know what that means or if it was addressed to me. But I don't like it when people write things during the game. I'm 
gonna go queen f3 this way if he decides to trade queens i'm defending my pawn if he goes rook f4 i can go queen c6 And he has to take with the d uh, with the h4 rook but yeah he actually cannot take ah this was a good move because if he takes with the h rook i have knight c6 if he takes with the d rook i have knight f3 ah no i don't have knight c6 if he takes with the h rook because he goes rook d1 ah Okay, he went rook f4. So now if I go knight c6, if I go queen c6, he takes on f2. don't have queen c6 why did i miss that I have to go queen e3, I need to defend the pawn. There are no other options. This guy played such a weird opening and then he's outplaying me like a boss. I never enjoy being outplayed after a good opening. I don't know if I should exchange that bishop or not. I guess not. <clears throat> I'm 
just gonna go h3. I'm not afraid of rook e4, I can take. I just needed to make some dark square luft so that I'm not hanging mate. And I also wanted to give my knight the g4 square. Because that way my knight is defending f2 and evicting the queen from the dark squares around the king. Why am I down to a minute? Also, if I go knight g4, I have queen h6 ideas if he moves the rook. He does not have rook f2 followed by rook f4 because rook f2, queen f2, rook f4, I have rook f3 or knight f3. And also, I'm not hanging mate because I have a pawn on h3 now. Also, Kira is changing her hair, so everything is full of dog hair. That always happens when the heating season starts. <laughs> Why do you think he wrote thank you for watching? Maybe he knows I have a YouTube channel? If he doesn't, that's really weird. Maybe I should not have played e4. Perhaps this is his longest think of the game. And he plays a good move. I'm gonna transfer my knight to c5. I was planning to do this against bishop d5, because uh, then I'm controlling the e4 square and the d3 square. And I have the option to go knight e6 check after, for example, rook takes g6. It doesn't have to be good, but maybe it will be good. Also, I'll be on the a pawn for what it's worth. Also, maybe I should have traded off that bishop while I had the chance.
Okay, knight c5 quickly. I could also consider uh, queen c3. That doesn't seem too bad because I'm giving my rook d8 and I'm giving and I'm putting him in a pin. I can double up my rooks unless he goes queen f6 he has queen f6 what do I do against queen f6 I'll think about it later to be in time trouble at such a good position out of the opening my rook is useless on g3 I need to move my rook somewhere I would love to get it to e3 but he's gonna go queen f6 now which will leave me no time for that he goes queen f6 I have to go back to e3 with my queen I could consider knight d7 but it doesn't really do anything now he's under a minute too on queen f6 queen e3 quickly on a king move I go rook e3 and he does have some issues with the back rank yeah why do you keep playing good moves to get my rook out of there my rook's stuck I don't get this move what does this do can I just take on, on a6 maybe He has rook d3. <sighs> Why did I play rook f3? Oh, I, I really didn't want to do this. Ugh. 
I didn't want to do this. Now I have to take with the queen. Okay, at least I have knight e6, rook e7, or knight a6. I don't know why I did that. I didn't mean to do this. Although if he doesn't take, I got rid of my bad rook. Yeah, he took. That's unfortunate. What's this end game like? I actually like my chances here, because I have rook e7 and knight a6. Yeah, I don't want to draw. Uh, I'm 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 not gonna talk. I'm sorry. I I don't have enough brain power to talk in positions like these. In extreme time trouble. Threatening knight here. Almost. I want my knight on d4 or f4. I need to get rid of this bishop. This may have been a blunder, he has bishop f1 check.
I'm gonna need to come up with a plan. For the moment, that plan is preventing the king from coming in. My rook is so tied down that this position is extremely hard to navigate. Okay. Now I was thinking king g3, rook g1, king h2, and then I can take. Uh, or I can go knight e4 and just avoid all of that. I'm happy he didn't go king f4. Maybe I was losing there after king f4. Now I'm definitely the one playing for the win. And I would say this is easily winning, because he's going to have to run his king down to f6 in order to take the pawn, and my king can just do this. Yeah. No, no. Oof. He should have gone king f4. My god. I got away with it. On king f4 I'm probably losing. He can never take the pawn. If he takes the pawn, endgame is completely losing. Actually... Oh yeah, the pawn in the game is completely losing. I just need to stay within the square of the pawn. Yeah. Uh, my god. Not, not, not a good game. Let's see what, what you're writing in the chat. No hanging pawns, question mark. B4, smiley face. Rook c3 instead of knight d7, check. Yes, black played this way too passively. Time pressure is evil. There's an end on my desk. Hanging Rook. I can't believe they both missed it. Hanging Rook? Whoa. Okay. Wh where did we hang a Rook? I, I didn't see that. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know A6, obviously. Weird. Bishop d3, and now... Okay, now let's see. I just take the pawn. No, the best move was knight d5? Why? Ah, bishop e4! Come on! Why didn't I see knight d5? Okay. Uh, and now here, knight f3 is fine. Queen e2 didn't work. I guess. Can he take? He can take. It's not easily winning. Okay, but knight f3, knight c6. 
Bishop e2 gets rid of the pin. I should have seen bishop e2. I didn't see it. My castle, knight b4. Bishop e6, as I said, was passive. Bishop g4 was better. Uh, oof, b4. b4 was a blunder. <sighs> Rook fc1 was better. Okay. I wanted to shut his c pawn and. Come on. e4 is fine. e4 is the best move. Knight f6. Okay, fine. Bishop d5 best. Knight e5 best. Okay, rook d1 is okay. Rook e3 is okay. Where did I go wrong? Rook d1. Okay, I should have gone queen c3, although I don't understand queen c3. If it's just to take the c7 pawn? Ah, then I can go queen c5, maybe. Queen c3, queen d6, h3. Okay, rook d1, the position is equal. He had bishop g2. What happens on king g2? Yeah, now he takes and, and takes on e1. Wow, okay. Rook h4. Rook g3. Queen e3. Rook takes. h3 best. Good. Bishop d5 best. Knight d7. Not good. Queen d6. And now I'm worse. Yeah, I should have gone a5 because my knight isn't defended. Queen c3, queen f6, queen e3. Yeah, rook f3. I, I, rook f3, I should not have gone rook f3. But okay. Black is better after a5. That makes sense. However, I will go rook e7. Why couldn't I go rook e7 here? Brr, brr, brr. Yeah, I can never go knight e6 and take. Okay. Rook d6. Rook e7. King g2. Apparently everything is equal. Rook e3 defends. Everything is equal. Oh! Uh, uh, <laughs> there was the hanging rook. I didn't see it. Oh my god. Okay, I, I, just, I, I didn't see that. Mating too. And a very easy one. I hate being in time trouble. King f4. Wait, king f4 is okay? How am I okay? I figured I was losing this easily. The only move is king h2. Okay. Then he takes, I guess. How is this okay? Okay. But instead of king f4 taking, and king takes, and then rook d4. So I cannot take. So I'd have to go king h2, I guess? Yeah, but then he wins the piece anyway. Jesus. Yeah, bishop e4. This this was a dreadful blunder. He had to go king e5. Now I'm just queening. And the thing is, he can never move his king away because the pawn end games are winning. I can go f4? I was afraid of f4. 
Oh, t what am I talking about? He doesn't have enough pawns. Okay, yeah, never mind. Stupid. Okay, not a clean game. Not a clean game. But I did win, which is good. Okay, uh, missed a free rook and missed mate in two. That's time trouble. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm going to clean myself of dog here. Stay tuned for more chess. Bye.